Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, my G. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. So my name is Anora Mala Mangala Chisenga. I am a mental health advocate. Apart from that, I create content based on mind purity and lifestyle. So join here today, guys. If you watched the previous video, you know her. If you're here Hi, for yeah. the first time, <laughs> she introduced herself. Yeah. So my name is Lisa Hannah Brett. Don't ask me what my, what my surname is again. So <laughs> stick to Lisa Hannah. <laughs> Video, we are just basically talking about the five things I, I know now that I wish I knew earlier about relationships. Very interesting topic. Takes you way back, eh? Lessons like, mm -hmm. oh, if I probably I would have avoided certain type of relationships, certain type yeah, of like things or something. Back, yeah, yeah, I can just do yeah, if I knew way. what I know now. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why we're here to share with you guys, such that. If you started out in the dating world, you, you don't make the mistakes that you <laughs> so <laughs> <you're laughs> <dimmed. laughs> Yeah. <laughs> actually, maybe if you're in a relationship, you can probably apply them and yeah. avoid unnecessary mm -hmm. heartache. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, guys, Mama love you can't die. You can leave. You can leave, guys. It's a lie. You don't die. You can leave. Just name. Just yeah. name. Just the first thing that I have come to learn is that mm -hmm. it is important for you to know yourself have uh -huh. your own identity in a relationship yeah and you know like when that it's the time that i first dated because when i started I, when i entered my first relationship mm -hmm. i was very young mm -hmm. and what used to catch me was when he tells me you're beautiful Ish. like i didn't really know like i wasn't confident about myself yeah, yeah. <laughs> when he says you're beautiful oh melt down but i think when, when you know that you're beautiful even yeah. when your partner compliments you like you're beautiful mm -hmm. you know it yeah such yeah. that even when they walk away or mm -hmm. they stick around it's still within you because you mm -hmm. know who you yeah. are yeah. yeah so when he says you're beautiful you're like oh thank you but it's not something that's strange it's not mm -hmm. something that's going to get you into other things mm -hmm. yeah so in that line also like what i know now mm -hmm. that i wish i knew then was is um just to be sure when I'm entering in a relationship yeah. and the kind of person I'm entering in a relationship yeah. with. Because mm -hmm. we often have this thing where we're like, we like each other, all right, you like me, I like you, so all right, let's do this. Yeah. And I didn't even know about this person and how they really are. And mm -hmm. At the end of the relationship, you start thinking, oh, so this is how they are, yeah. this is how they are. So yeah. I think what I really emphasize on is like, know someone enough before you step into yeah. that big thing of being in a in relationship, relationship. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that should be actually my second point about mm -hmm. like <coughs> get to know somebody first mm -hmm. like mostly in, in my previous relationships like i'll find myself that i'll just know somebody maybe like for a month mm -hmm. or two the longest has been two months and then we find ourselves in a relationship when yeah. for a very long time then before you realize it i'm like but then this is not the person i got at. like this is the person not the person i got into relationship. Yes, yeah <laughs> the thing is that <coughs> in marketing guys Definitely, I am going. As I'm selling the product, I am going to package it in what you want. In what you want. At some color. <laughs> but then the thing is that when you start using the product that I have sold to you, that's when you actually realize that okay, some I actually handed some juice on yeah. top or something. So it's very important yeah. that you get to know somebody mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. before yeah. you can actually go. You can move to the next step of yeah. entering into a relationship, so that you don't have a great thing. Okay, I wish. Which I knew, yeah. yeah. And and that also just brings me to, to the next point of like when you're knowing someone, mm -hmm. when you know someone, mm -hmm. you know what they stand for and yeah. what they believe in. Yeah. So what I know now that I wish I knew is to just before I enter a relationship, I know what somebody believes in. Yeah. Because you, you know, Zambia is a Christian nation. Yeah. And when you meet a brethren out there, it's like she's a Christian, we go to church together mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. And when you enter a relationship, like, you, th you think you have the same mind, but yeah. you don't have the, the same, same mind. mind yeah. So you enter a relationship, you have to know, like, okay, what boundaries are we supposed to say? Yeah. What does this person actually believe in? Yeah. And do they align with what I believe in and the boundaries that I think should be there in a relationship? I think that's yeah. why most of us have got this thing, we're like, oh no, church boys, they, church boys are hypocrites, church girls are yes. hypocrites. <laughs> they are not hypocrites, you just didn't take your time exactly. to know them. Yeah. And and see if your visions actually align with the yeah. others. So it's very important. Apart from that, also like you know, mm -hmm. friendship, like the friendship mm -hmm. aspect. So even mm -hmm. as you take long, you're building that friendship aspect because mm -hmm. the relationship is not always about love. It doesn't mean telling yeah, the other yeah. person you're beautiful, you're shiny. It fades at yeah, that yeah, point. Yeah, it does. So it's <laughs> so very. Do you have left? Exactly. It's yeah. very important that mm -hmm. you know the person and you're able to relate to them yeah. in every aspect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. very much, very mm -hmm. much. So even just like, uh, especially on on boundaries, you know. Um, 
back then when I entered a relationship, I entered the first relationship, as I said, very quickly. And I didn't know that you have to set boundaries. So mm-hmm. when you enter a relationship, that was what talking a lot about what what happens before. But now when you are there in a relationship, you make an agreement to say this we can't do, mm-hmm. this we can do, mm-hmm. and that should be based on your belief. Yeah. And yeah, I'm totally Christian. Like when yeah. you enter a relationship, guys, like you just have to be safe to say no sex, no shining. Yeah. You just yeah. set that, that, yeah. that boundary. Yeah. This is what actually mm-hmm. happens most mm-hmm. of the times. <clears throat> In the beginning, when a guy wants you or something, mm-hmm. he will agree to that. But as you go, and over time, you know, you start pressuring and stuff like, yeah, oh yeah, no, I want yeah. this, I want that. That's the time mm-hmm. when you start to think, okay, this person actually has changed. But yeah. in actual sense, you just didn't get to know them better. Exactly. And their values. Yeah. yeah. So even when you say boundaries at first, like, it shouldn't just be there at the beginning to say, all right, mm-hmm. all right, dude, okay, John, mm-hmm. we've agreed, we're not going to do this. Mm-hmm. And then you have to, it has to be repetitive. Yeah. Like, remind yeah. each other what you agreed on to say. Yeah. When you find yourself getting in a too close in such a way that you end up somewhere you might you know what we agreed that we're not supposed to do such yes. yeah. 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 yeah so, so that's very important it's very mm-hmm. boundary very if important. i knew this back then <laughs> <laughs> i would have avoided a lot of, <laughs> a lot of, a lot of <laughs> unnecessary <laughs> fights and everything every heartache yeah. in your life yeah, yeah. and then yes. the other thing is that you need to know the reason why you're dating yeah. Like mm-hmm. yes, you can be emotionally and physically attached to somebody, but the chemistry, yeah, you know. <laughs> the chemistry can be there, the biology, yeah. all the science can be oh, cooking. <laughs> the mother hey. can be there. <laughs> but then you just yeah. can't date somebody mm-hmm. for the sake of me. No, like I like this person. That's yeah. the reason why. That's not like a very valid reason for yeah. you to date somebody. You need to know date with purpose. Why am I in this relationship? Mm-hmm. As you build on, like just to like I don't know, like the previous point that we had. Like as you build on that friendship, like it will be more clear the reason why you want to date that person and where the relationship is leading to. Yeah. It's dating for fun, guys. We're too old for dating for fun. That shouldn't happen. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and I know there is this that we're too old. Even when you are young, don't mm. date for fun. Yeah. You know what dating for fun does? You do things for fun. Yeah. And before you know it, um, we have early pregnancies. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have all these things, funny things mm-hmm. and all that going on. So if you're going in a relationship, you have to be, it has to be for a purpose. Yeah. And even as when you are young, young or when you're old like just remember that it has to be for a purpose yeah. just don't enter because it's a big thing yeah. it's a big thing it arouses certain emotions that if you can't handle it will lead to other things that you didn't even plan for yeah. have you ever seen that memo it says i've finished i have depleted my dating bundle <laughs> yeah. the reason why you depleted your dating bundle is because you've been dating without a purpose yeah. so now when you actually find that person who you're supposed to date with a pe- for a purpose mm-hmm. it now feels like you don't have the energy to go because mm-hmm. the energy Energy that you've been pouring out in this previous relationship is like it's it's been wasted. Yeah, yeah it's, it's de- depleted. Zero. <laughs> zero. <laughs> zero MB, guys. Zero MB. Yeah, yeah. it's hundred percent of your MB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it has to be like very much purposeful, and I, that's that's the main point. I think that point actually engulfs everything else. Mm-hmm. When you are dating for a purpose, you try to understand yourself, understand the next person, mm-hmm. set boundaries, and flow together in that relationship. Yeah. Next thing is that um, guys. There's a difference between privacy and a secret. It's very important for you to know those two differences. Mm-hmm. Like those yeah. two differences. Yeah. A secret is where nobody, okay. nobody knows about it. Nobody. You meet at night. Yeah. <laughs> nobody <laughs> knows that it's a relationship that's happening. Yeah. But privacy is where you actually you know, acknowledge that you're in a relationship mm-hmm. and the like, and you just don't want the whole public. Yeah, to it's public okay. Public. Like mm-hmm. it's okay for me. It's okay for you not to include people in your yeah. relationship when you don't want to do it at a place that you want to mm-hmm. i think we're living in a generation where like people are all about showing off and the yeah. like on social media and very stuff like that like, every time yeah mm-hmm. every that so it's very important that you you just put, you you can put it out but when you are comfortable and not because the world like especially yeah, yeah to do it yeah. or something just because no yeah. one the boyfriend oh baby this is so good yeah let me do it yeah <laughs> but it's like enjoy because it's important is not the image that you build mm-hmm. on social media mm-hmm. or the image that you build to your friends yeah. what's important is what what type of relationship that you're building yeah. Yeah. when nobody is seen mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. like on a part of a secret relationship <laughs> yeah ah oh, guys like this world is wicked <laughs> You are getting someone three months, mm, three months, mm. when they see you like, ah, hi, two other people. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then when you go home, like, you're texting, ah, oh, I love you, have a good night. <laughs> and then you meet, meet in person, like, dude, what's going on? Is this a private me. relationship? with a secret ah, relationship? I think, I think. Yeah, that's a secret relationship. I think, I think. <laughs>
because yeah. this is one thing like there's something about privacy and mm. the secret like when yeah. privacy is such that even when you're together in public like your partner is not afraid to yeah. like confirm that they are mm. with you like mm. yeah they are partner mm. and the <laughs> you meet with your friends ah this is Nora yeah. you don't know what I know it is there like it's just that <laughs> okay, and guys, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry like guys like any guys watching this but this is the truth most guys are doing this these days because yeah. most guys have like multiple relationships yeah and when they find you maybe they really see that this is a good person and they want to keep you yeah but they still want to keep other people yeah so what they'll do is just make it secret like make it text and post yeah. and then in person you don't exist yeah yeah, yeah. be careful that like, <laughs> yeah be careful guys yeah so some guys are crafty <laughs> no they're not just that they're crafty they're very crafty, crafty. crafty. what are you getting the fact that it's secret now do it says mm, you know you find that chance yeah. yeah that's all of you guys you're receiving too bad you know to that that's it yeah. you know? and you say guys don't know to that mm. mm. okay <laughs> uh, all right okay you'll be shocked <laughs> well, my last point is um when you're resolving out issues like you've resolved out your issues mm-hmm. like resolve listen to your partner like it's you and your partner against the relationship and not mm-hmm. you guys against against each, against each other mm-hmm. so it's very important that you listen mm-hmm. and give your partner like a chance like a platform to express yourself mm-hmm. because you also want to be to be heard but ex- let them also express themselves such that when you move past that issue like you know that you're done and there are no graduates mm-hmm. yeah that's true because I, I just had a story yeah yesterday about a woman in Chuma who killed herself she mm-hmm. got the husband like where are you I'm at the lodge before he even completed she cut the call and taking myself yeah communication is very important you need mm-hmm. to understand each other and one other thing is for me like guys we're total christians mm-hmm. never do a relationship without god yeah like, if you're going to do any relationship with anyone it be a friendship or anything do it with god and yeah. you know we can we can try so many things but you can't love someone so much as you can yeah. love them when you're with god and yeah. if, it's, if god is there in the relationship you find that you you succeed even more people didn't think you'd succeed yeah. you know yeah. there are people who had that fear of entering a relationship because they're like, ah, oh, no, no, because I was okay, fine, so be shy. Mm-hmm. But then when you come and do it with God, you'll be shocked that you've never quarreled. Yeah. You can start asking, guys, is this normal? But how does this happen? Guys? Yeah. I think we've been together for this long, but we've not been arguing. We've never argued. Yeah. And you just feel that peace and you enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. that's why I, I usually say that um, a relationship, your relation, the relationship that you have with anybody, not just your partner, mm-hmm. like is a reflection of the relationship that you have with Christ. With mm-hmm. Yes. My relationship with Christ is on point. Christ will be there to teach me how to love my partner better. So it's very yeah. important that before you have a perfect relationship with anybody, you have a perfect relationship with Christ. Yeah. I'm just so excited because <laughs> you're saying that. Like that is just the, the solid truth. Yeah. If if I if I'm able to love Christ, there's a way in which that uh, the, the the love of the Holy Spirit in you builds up mm-hmm. to love your partner mm-hmm. so much, mm-hmm. so much that even it's it's unbelievable that when you should be upset. When you should be leaving the relationship, you still stay with them, not because what they did was right, but because mm-hmm. you even have that forgiving yeah, heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the fruits of the yeah. spirit. Are yeah, they are. Yeah. Like it's calm, oh, yeah. <laughs> being patient, and like yeah. you just. So it's, it's, yeah. it's very important that you form a trinity, like a triangle, like yeah. you and your partner and Christ at the center. Mm-hmm. And don't involve so many people in your relationship. Just yeah. let it be like Christ centered. Yeah. 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 That you may just remind like an advice to the people who are in Christ, who are single mm-hmm. but are still Christians. Like the same triangle where you know I learned something like um as if you're single and you're looking for a partner. Mm-hmm. Don't start looking for it. So this is this is where your partner is and this is where you are. Mm-hmm. Start going towards Christ and your partner is going towards Christ and Christ is here at the yeah. moment. So as you are going there, when you meet Christ there together, you meet with your partner and you don't have to fight about anything. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so some of the five I, I don't know if it's the five of the people. <laughs> but anyway, there yeah. are some things that we know now about relationships that we wish we knew earlier. Yeah. And so if you have some, you can like comment down, leave a comment down in the comment section below and let us know about the things that you know now that you wish in your area yeah otherwise thank you for coming through and thank you for thank you it was an exciting session <laughs> it was, it was very exciting yeah. Thank you. yeah i'm very humbled that you actually got to feature yeah. <laughs> all right guys so i will see you in the next video so don't forget to like don't forget to leave a comment yeah. don't forget to give this video <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and all the things that you need, to do. That you need to do yeah <laughs> anyways
Bye. Bye. <laughs>